been doing some reverse engineering on this uh, this Adirondack chair back and it's a nylon piece and we just needed to track the perimeter on it and some of the pocket detail but what I've got is I'd like to show you guys how you can take a polyline and you can edit that polyline say if we uh, say we missed some of the detail back in this corner here or I slipped around one of these fixture points or something like that you can take that polyline and you can extract points from it or you can add points from it uh, add points to it but what I'd like to show in this module is how you can take and extract points from a polyline and have CAM2 resolve for that polyline. So I've got detail right here that I've got scanned up in the SAT file. So let me show you how we can just extract some of those points out and have CAM2 resolve. So come on into the SAT. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot this, uh, this area right here. I've taken points into here, but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna take points out of our, out of our polyline and show you what that looks like as well. So if I'm under measure scan, freehand scan, here's all the criteria I used last time. Let me change that to a one for 10 thousandths and say okay. And then it's a 2D, so I wanna put it on a plane. There it is, plane 01 is my tabletop. So I'll say okay to that. Again, bottom left-hand corner, always do these scans with, uh, with scan mode or the X hotkey. So right in that area here is where I'm going to track that. But I'm going to, on purpose, uh, do some errors here. So if I'm tracking some geometry around here, and then I come around right over here, say, oh, shoot, I just hit my shank on that thing. I don't want to stop, though. I've got a pretty good scan going on. And I'll come back around over here and then stop. And then I'll compensate away. So that one I forced an error, and I actually shanked out on one of, these, uh, one of these areas here. And I would say, yep, I'll keep the stream on that thing, even though I know I had a hiccup on it right here. Hey, no problem. I can easily go in, and I can resurrect that. Let me zoom in and say, oh, yeah. Okay, what was I thinking there? All right, let's go like this and just zoom in on that area there and say, measure, scan, remove points. That's the way that we're going to pull points out of this polyline, and CAM2 will actually resolve for that line. Now, notice down in the bottom left of my screen, it's saying select a polyline to edit. Well, that would be this one here. And then notice it's found a couple of different options, body and a vertex and an edge. Well, the full body is what I'm kind of looking at doing the editing on. Wow, look at that. I did take a few extra points around here. I did shank out pretty bad. But Farrell will go through and resolve. It kind of looks like it's starting here. So I'm just now going through and I'm just clicking, single clicking with the left key on all the points that Farrell took that solved for that, that uh, little hiccup there. So I'm even going to get rid of this one here. So all of those are highlighted. And then I'm going to right mouse key. And then, and then Farrell will come through and resolve for that line. I'll zoom out just a little bit. Now that looks a little bit better. Great. Now I know I'm going to have to put... Uh, data over top of this in my I just or in my CAD system, and then I'm going to have to blow these surfaces outboard or these lines outboard, because truly tracking with a 2D trace or a 2D freehand is only following the center of the probe. And again, if I zoom out just a little bit more and say, okay, prove that. So I'll go inspect X Y Z under the measure menu, and then I'll come in, and then notice that the probe actually looks like it's right on the center of that line. So truly you've got to offset those lines three millimeters which is the radius of that probe. But if you're scanning away and you've got some pretty good detail and you're, uh, you're halfway through and you don't want to start again, just continue on through and know that you can go to the measure menu, scan, and you can remove points. Now, one big note, though, is you cannot do this with, with uh, splines. So if you're going to do some reverse engineering, I usually recommend the polylines if that works for, uh, for your CAD input. Uh, if you have to do it as a spline, that's totally fine as well. And I've got an example on another chair that I'm going to do that's showing you splines. Okay.